Hello, today I'm going to show you how can we set a non-working day for some resources. And with that, I'm going to show you one interesting thing. So let me create for this purpose blank new project. And I will say this is my project. And after that, I will choose calendar which will be a uh, project start date will be 9th of uh, august which is monday and i will say that i'm going to use my creation time zone template okay fair enough okay what do i need next i need group i will use my existing group which is blog project for the web and i will now see here I will customize this view with duration, with start, with finish date, and with effort. And of course, I'm going to show that on the whole screen so you can see. I will now add task one. And let's say that task one has five days duration. Remember that the, uh, the, by default, uh, task type in Microsoft Project for the Web is a fixed duration and i'm going to assign john john works from nine to five eight hours per day so effort will be 40 hours why be because john is going to work five days eight hours per day and it results in 40 hours but let's say that john should be on his holiday in the middle of the week. How can I do that? I can go in Power Apps. I will go to Apps. I will choose Project. And after I will have this screen, I will scroll a little bit down and I'm going to choose Resources. Here I need to set up non working type for John. So I am going to choose John, Edit work hours once again if you if i am uh, uh, uh if i didn't uh, make myself clear so once again here on the resources choose the resource for which you want to set day off go to edit and then go to work hours and now let's say that on wednesday 11th of august john will take his day off. I'm going here and click on new here on this error and I will say non-working. I will click non-working. I will choose the date which will be Wednesday 11th of August. I will choose all day because John is going to be absent all day. He is not going to be at work at all day. So at 11th of August, John has a work day off. And you will see here gray line which says that John has non work day at 11th, or 11th of August. I will now, now save and close this screen. And now, what, what is interesting thing? If I go back in my project, I can refresh the whole project. And you will see that John has a vacation on 11th of August and he should work only 32 hours. Why? Because he is going to work from Monday to uh, Friday, but only four days he's going to work. He is not going to work at Wednesday. And obviously, he should have 40 hours work, no, uh, 32 hours work, not 40. Let me show you task two. I will create brand new task, task two, the same as previous one. And I will here assign John as well. And you will see when I assign, when I assign John, then it will show shows 32 hours. So if you want to 
have John to work according to his calendar, and if you already assign a resource before he uh, you uh, changed his calendar or set his day uh, off, what you should do? You should deassign John from the task, okay, and once again back assign him. So my point is when you first assign a person or a source to a task and you didn't set up non-working days for that particular resource or multiple resources, then it will not be affected on current project tasks. So if you want to uh, uh, do it in a proper way, first of all, you should set up you should set up a calendar here for John, okay, here, and you should set all non-working days, and then you should assign him to a task. If you do, don't do that, then in that case, you will have to uh, you will have to deassign John and assign him again. Okay, and that is what you have uh, to take care of, and it can be very complicated and frustrated. If you, for example, have five projects with 500 tasks and John works on, John is supposed to work, uh, supposed to work on, let's say, 100 tasks at the same time, which is not possible, but you should be careful if you, uh, for example, put afterwards day off because in that case, you will have to deassign him and assign him. That is the first thing what I want to show you. Now, let me show you, if you didn't notice, what will happen when you, afterwards, after you assign a, a, a person to a task, uh, uh, when you uh, create a non-working task. I created the same task as before, one task one, five days, 40 hours, and I assigned Mary. Now I'm going to say that Mary is not going to work at 11th of August. So I'm going to go back to choose Mary and to say edit. Okay, I will choose edit. And I will say, okay, non-working hours or time off, whatever. Let's say time off at, sorry, not, I will say non-working day because the whole day is not working and I will say from from 11th to 11 and I will click save. You will see Mary is not supposed to work at 11th of August which is Wednesday. I will save it close and now before I refresh my project Notice that duration is five days. Start is on 9th of August, which is Monday, and finishes 13th of August, which is Friday. And effort is 40 hours. If I now refresh the screen, what will I have? Wait a minute. Nothing. The, the same thing will remain. Now I'm going to let's say task two, Mary. And what happened? When I assigned Mary to task two, for some reason, duration has been 
extended to six days. And that is obviously a bug. So to avoid that, okay, to avoid that, you should deassign Mary and assign her once again. And you will have five days, 32 hours. Now, task to Mary and you will see that if I put here five days, everything will look looks fine. So be careful because sometimes durations change with no reason. Okay? So that's all for today. Thank you very much and have a nice